Oh god, I hate this so much. Why? Oh my, don't even get me started. What's going on everybody, Jay Hayes here. So today I'm gonna to be doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of review back in 2017. <laughs> okay, so I'm, you know, doing my normal mantra, if you will. That's not the right word, but I was looking behind me. I said, okay, what am I gonna be doing a review on today? What do we got? And I got so many drippers, like so many. And I'm like, okay, I got to do something else that is not an RDA. So what else do we have? Box mods, extremely, extremely limited amount of things. So, okay, I guess I have to start pulling from the old block. And that's exactly what I did. Now, I remember picking this up because it reminded me a lot of the Reload RTA. And I did open this up because I wasn't sure as to what it was. People did reviews for this back in 2018. Literally, we're going on two years here. So this is kind of a throwback. But okay, now you have to keep in mind that I did open it as far as unscrewing it to figure out what it was. I didn't open up the RTA. And the first thing I noticed was the machining on it. I don't know if this company still exists, Thunderhead Creations. They've done some RTAs. They've done some RDAs. I think they did one other box mod, but it's not like one of those huge companies that make a bunch of things. So I start looking at all these other vape sites about what other RTAs I can pick up because I like doing reviews on RTAs, and I can't find anything. The only thing that I could really find that I'm sure people would be interested in is the Steam Crave, which I have in the box. Other than that, there's nothing. Widowmaker RTA. And then everything else is high end. So I'm going to pull out something from the woodworks here. I've got no other choice. What we're going to be looking at is the Thunderhead Creations. I'm assuming it's Beast, but they spelled it wrong. It's got two E's instead of B-E-A-S-T. Like best with an extra E. That's all that I have. I can't really give you any information. What I can tell you is that when I did pick this up, I had no other option of picking up any other color but this one, which is gold. I will say this. The gold that this is versus the gold that's gold-plated on decks are two different things entirely. So it's not going to be super tacky, but the machining of this is really, really well done on the outside. Again, I haven't looked at it under magn magnification zones. Even when it comes to mods are extremely difficult to find right now. So you may have to deal with a couple throwback videos until either something comes out or... I don't know, man. I really don't want to make this channel only high-end. I guess we'll see. I have a lot of throwback videos, though. So without further ado, let's... Flip it. All right, here we go. So what we're looking at is the gold rendition of the Thunderhead Creations. This is the packaging that it comes in. Little velour satchel. Keep in mind that this is an older device. It is not, well, it is brand new in a sense that it's never been used, but it's older uh, considering when it actually came out. So inside of it, you're going to get a polycarbonate tank. That's unique. A user manual inside of a bag. Extra post screws of some sort, some O-rings, and then an Allen key. I don't know if I've ever seen a manual or a warranty card inside of a bag like that. And this is not this color. Kind of wish it was, but it is what it is. And with all Thunderhead creations, the Torn RTA, the Torn RDA come in this little uh, metal container, if you will. Let's go ahead and look at that real quick. One Torn RTA, one Allen wrench. That Okay, so that was inside the bag, but that's everything it comes with. And then, see? Beast RTA. Or Psst. Psst. Okay. And scratch and sniff. Paper towel orange marmalade. Flavor and scented. Extremely unique. Just go ahead and unscrew this on the bottom. And then there it is, the RTA. So you can see that it is in fact gold, but it's not gold, like gold-plated posts type of deal. Let's take that off. 
And you'll see that I, what I was talking about in regards to the machining of it, it does look like it's very, very nicely made. Drip tip on the top, Thunderhead Creations, go ahead and pop that off. That's what it, wow, really super, super clean. Don't see any funky monkeys, no dings, dents, burrs, spurs, cowboy boots. I don't know if those fingerprints are for me. Airflow on the bottom. Little rough. Does not lock. Actually, it does. Okay. So you see what is happening? See how it's coming off right there? Let's see, because it fell off the track. There it is. So locks all the way to the right, locks all the way to the left. It is a little bit rough on spinning. To fill it up right here on the top section, just grab the glass and spin that. Again, not super dirty. Very nice. It's extremely not smooth. There we go. Wow. This is probably why I don't get gold, because I can't tell if anything is dirty or not. It's, it's just gold. The glass on there is very nice. The deck, I don't even know. I'm sure we've seen things with this type of configuration. But the problem you have is because this came out in 2018, I have no idea. Airflow configuration right here. All these little ports got a positive negative. So you're able to do one coil single. It looks like you really want to do two, though, considering the way that that is. Uh, if you do one, what's going to happen is the airflow. Well, if it's a higher single coil, you should be fine. That's probably what I'm going to put in this. But if you do run dual, you're going to do a positive, negative. Actually, I'm sorry, positive down here, negative here. Posts are a little close together, especially if you're putting in two of them. Get your little screws down here to adjust the post screws themselves. I know we've seen that before. And I know that there's been newer products that have had that. So I don't know which one came out before. Just because this is a throwback, I'm not really sure. On the bottom of it, 6247 Thunderhead Creations. And there is your 510 pin. Extremely simple. Nothing too crazy. We're going to put one single, probably a 3.5 millimeter inner diameter. Decent sized channel down here. You don't see any kind of chatter all over it does look pretty well done. I just don't like the color of it at all. Now, let me give you a comparison of this gold versus gold that is usually inside of a deck. You'll kind of gauge what I'm talking about here. So that is the gold that is the color of it, and then that is the gold that's on a post. You see? This is more plated, cheap, A-team, Mr. T type of style. This is just, I don't know, like real gold, so to speak. Not saying that it's real gold, it just looks like real gold. Dual 24 with 36 on the outside, but this is the problem. Take a look at the posts. See how they are? So it, <laughs> oh God, I hate this so much. What happens here is your posts are literally vertical or horizontal, depending on how you're looking at it, versus your legs that are going to go in there. You need to bring the screws in on the side here. And then as you screw that down, it clamps the side. It may twist your legs up. And I hate that so much. Let's bring it on the top. All right, back on top with the Beast RTA by Thunderhead Creations. I'm assuming that's how they're pronouncing it is Beast. I don't know why it would be called Best. If it is, that is one cocky ass name for an RTA. This is the best RTA. Sort of like an RDA for vaping. Like we get what that is. You just don't need to name it that. All right, single coil. So you saw there was a lot of room on the left and right. If I if I would have made it 
so it was bigger. That would have been good too because the airflow would have hit it directly versus this is kind of an open chamber type of configuration. I didn't want to run dual for a multitude of reasons. I just do not like dual coil. I'm I'm sorry, it takes too much power, consumes way too much juice. I'd rather just run with the option of single coil. It just makes more sense to me. Here we go. 0.32, 4.12 volts, 53 watts. Let's do it. Wow. Even then, that's so much power. Holy cow. millions and millions and millions of bubbles like millions of them <sighs> wow that hits really hard holy cow okay all right i cannot stress to you how impressed i am with the way that the machining of the outside of this and the deck is. Absolutely fantastic. Now I know this RTA is old. Like I get it. But like I said in the beginning, I'm running out of options as far as RTAs are concerned. RDAs, I'm good to go. Starter kits, eh, I I'll be all right. Pods, all in ones, not pods, but all in one styles, got it. RTAs, oh man, I hope that that's not a dying breed because that is something I absolutely love doing, hence why I'm doing this now. The price point that you're going to find this is... The price point that you're going to find this at is going to be really, really cheap. It's not terrible. I wish I had it in silver or black or anything other than gold. I don't know what else to say about it. The, the, the deck itself, why would you build the ports so they're this way? No matter how you put a coil in it, whether you're putting in two or single, it's going to jack up the legs. Granted, a lot of the coils that you buy now are pre-built in a sense, but they're thick and juicy. They're not going to work in this. They're not. And you're definitely not going to fit two of them. Unless, of course, you're running something like Dual 38. I don't really rate throwback devices, but I feel like this is definitely needed. I would rate it like a 4, maybe a 5. The airflow is good. The machining is really good on it, but I don't understand the ports and putting a build inside of this, especially for the types of pre-built jammies that you're getting, you're going to have a very hard time with this, especially if it's a single coil and it's thin. It's going to jack that up, which you could just fix with a pair of pliers like I did. I don't understand. I don't understand why you would build ports that way. I had the same problem with the coil art. The Mage V2. Dude, I lost my mind. Why? Oh my, don't even get me started. I'm going to get pissed. Oh, dude, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm going to give this one a pass, though, because this was made somewhere in 2017 or 2018. If this was a, a, a product of this day and age, we're going outside and I'm going to destroy it because there should be no reason why any company, I don't care where you're at in the world, is making something where it's counterproductive. That's like putting square wheels on your car. Let me know how far you drive before it sounds like you're running over uh, uh, an army of corpses because it's a four or five. That's where I'm going to go. Before I lose my shit, I've kept it real. Have you?